welcome back to City Wine. With me, I have one of the most recognizable faces in Tacoma, whether they're on the comfy couch or they are hosting the Academy Awards. I'm talking about Executive Director Philip Cowan of the Grand Cinema. Hello, Philip. Welcome. Hi, Amanda. It's great, great to be here. It's great to have you on Zoom. And you are actually in the theater now, aren't you? I am. It's a rather lonely place these days. But yeah, I'm back back in the Grand to do this. I love that. So usually I ask you what's going on at the Grand. But maybe this time during our pandemic, I want to ask you what is and what is not going on at the Grand. Well, obviously, there's not any movies going on anywhere around the country, much less the Grand. Uh, it's going to probably be a while before that happens again. Um, so unfortunately, we had to lay off all of our staff, including myself, uh, except for just a few, you know, essential functions to keep things going. Um, but we'll all be back. Um, and, you know, meanwhile, we're, we're trying to stay connected with, with the patrons out there. We're sending out emails every week. And, and one of the things that we're doing is doing some virtual films online. So you choose, can see some of the films that you might have been able to be seeing here right now. So the, the main thing is we just want people to know that we're still here. We're not going away. Uh, and that we're just anxious to, to get back and get into, back into everybody's film lives. I love your emails. I love your Facebook postings. When I uh, pull up to Karina every week for my weekly Keep You in Business cupcake, I blow a huge dating game kiss to the Grand Cinema because it just doesn't feel the same with all those lines of people around the corner trying to get in and of course the smell of popcorn you mentioned virtual movies philip tell me what that is and what you're showing well that, that's good so it's it's something that the industry had never really dealt with before because you know we're we're in this to try to get people to come into movies uh, so to to get some of the movies that would be out about now in independent theaters into people's lives and so that they could get a chance to see them. Uh, the distributors, not all of them, but some of them have stepped forward and started creating virtual screening rooms. Uh, so you can see some of the same films that we would have had uh, here right now. Uh, so it, it kind of varies a little bit. So the, the distributor sets up a web link that is specific to the Grand Cinema's audience. So if you go on and rent one of these films, we're splitting the revenue with the distributor just like we normally would. And they know that, oh, those those people went to the Grand website. Uh, and so that's that's where they're coming from, Tacoma or, or elsewhere. You can if you have friends around the country, you can tell them to go to our website and they can watch them from Florida or anywhere else in the country and help with the Grand. We have I love that. Yeah. And the, they look a little bit different depending on which film you pick, because the distributors have different landing sites. So, you know, you may rent one movie and then you go back to see another one another time and it might look a little bit different but from the moment you you pay for it you have at least two days to watch that movie so you have the flexibility of starting a movie whenever you want which is something that we can't normally offer but uh, we have some really good ones uh, each friday that we're adding about two more films uh, a, a few of the ones that we have out there right now is a an east german film called balloon it's based on a true story of uh people in old East Germany when they're trying to flee had a hot air balloon and, and tried to fly over the border uh, and it's a really it's a really good thriller movie so I recommend that one uh, a couple documentaries slay the dragon which is a really good one uh, out on gerrymandering and it kind of talks about the gerrymandering is essentially where political parties draw districts to match whatever they want to help get them elected the really good documentary on that uh, we have a, a really entertaining one called The Booksellers. It's people who sell old books uh, and talks about the bookstores around the country, uh, their situation now, and tells stories about some of the books that you can find. So that's a really fun movie, too. And then uh, Ordinary is that's this is one that I have not actually seen myself, but I've been had people telling me, oh, this is a really good one. It's, it's an Irish movie. It's kind of an Irish Ghostbusters. It's kind of a lighthearted movie. And for these times that are a little bit heavier, this might be a good one for for people to want. It's a really good independent movie. I love that. So Philip, um, the only thing missing is for you to institute popcorn delivery. You know, that, that 
it sounds funny, but it's something that we've actually talked about doing. If we could like set up some specific times on a Friday night or something like that to do popcorn. So keep watching this. You never know. That might happen. Hey, I got to tell you, if if Karina can do it next door to you, you can have popcorn pickup time. I'm going to be the first one in line to get one yep. of those huge king size buckets. That's that's good. Yeah, no, we 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 are known for our popcorn and we'll we'll keep doing it. I am so sad to hear that the, your staff and you were laid off because um, if there ever were sweethearts for Tacoma and our family, it's the Grand Cinema and all of their volunteers. So through that lens, what are your expectations for the next months and a couple of weeks here? Well, a lot of this one is gonna be taken out of our hands of when we open up. It's gonna, gonna be, uh, up to the governor and just kind of normal standards within the area you know we don't want to open up too soon uh and and if and when whatever point we do open up you know i'm sure there will be still some fears out there so you know we're going to do our best to space films out a little bit broader within the calendar so there's not as many people in the lobby uh space out people in the theaters themselves uh so we're, we're definitely going to be working towards whatever situation exists at the time that we that we open back up you know, and it's it's created some tough scheduling things. You know, we had about this weekend was when we were supposed to be having our local film teams film our 253 competition. So the 72 hours, everybody goes out and makes short films. And we've obviously had to cancel that. Um, but I, actually, I shouldn't use the word cancel. We are postponing that one. That one is one of our staple events and one of our best things that we do each year. So we're going to do that later this year. Don't know exactly the timing on it. Uh, but when everything starts to open back up, definitely want to get those film teams out there making fun movies. Tacoma, uh, a couple years ago, Philip, and you were very instrumental in this, passed Tacoma Creates funding for the arts. Is that something that could help an organization such as the Grand Cinema right about now? Yeah, that's, uh, we're, we're very lucky that Tacoma, you know, got out in front of all of this without this in mind, obviously, to, to pass Tacoma Creates and that that helps uh, for st sustainability of businesses, for, for arts organizations, as well as access and uh, equity and all of those things. And so, yeah, that's something that some of the organizations really going to need those funds to, to help keep the sustainability because we need to keep going to be able to offer the kind of things that we always do. In the meantime, and even after when you get that funding, what can our viewers, what can the Grand Cinema family do to support you right now? Well, I mean, the, we, ironically, just, just recently on uh, April 18th, we celebrated our 23rd birthday. Um, so one of the things we were doing is to, to get people to donate 23 bucks to the Grand to, to help support us through this. So uh, donations, memberships, if you want to be a member of the Grand, we're setting it up to where if you if you become a member or renew your membership anytime during this, we will start your 12 month membership the day we open our doors again. So it's a good way to support us now and know that you're still getting those 12 months of movies and discounts and free popcorn. Um, but and then right now, go watch a movie online. Go to grandcinema.com. Uh, right on the front of the page that shows a link to the virtual movies and you can click through and watch trailers for them all and pick out one that works for you and then enjoy a, a film at home that supports the grand. Philip, I want to say thank you so much for um, you taking time out of uh, your schedule. This is an ever-changing moment-to-moment uh, -moment day as every day is. Um, and I thank you so much for Zooming with us. Um, and please take care of you and that precious daughter. And I want you back on the comfy couch as soon as possible so I can give you a big hug. Thanks. It's, it's always great to connect with you, even in a little bit different circumstances. Absolutely. And I'm looking forward to my doorbell ringing with that popcorn. So extra butter, layered, no salt. You, you, you and I take it the same. <laughs> Thank you so much, Philip. Good to see you. Well, that wraps up another great segment of City Line. Wow. This is uh, unprecedented in terms of the times that we're in right now. And I want to say to you, it is so important that all of you are gentle with yourself, allow yourself to sleep more, uh, allow yourself to eat the kind of food you want to eat. 
And please, even though we're social distancing, reach out to those that you love, those that you live next to, those who are underserved, and to those that you don't know. Because with this, all of us are going to make it through this together. So I will see you next week right back here in my kitchen on City Line. Take care. Chicago, but to come us where you'll stay.